Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Legendary Iron Man Rise of the Robots. My name is Saiken and we're playing the game on the highest difficulty with um, a nice cold soda and uh, um, sparks, psyops and templars. That's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, today we're going to progress the storyline a little bit further. It's almost as if we're on the final laps. The last few missions were interesting, shall we say because we pretty much killed everything really 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 fast now we're going to go into a mission where we're facing off against chrysalids and that's going to be fun as well we have a good team many of them however are not really well versed against chrysalids so that's going to be our team. Uh, let's uh, see what exactly we want to do. We got uh, blaster weapons, shred storm cannons, all of that good jazz. These here are good for the... Uh, these uh, blue screen rounds are good for uh, the gatekeeper. Question is, do we really need them though? Uh, we want to fight against uh, the avatar. So in order to do that, I would like to take a school check. It's great. And I am considering to still stick with one blue screen rounds. It's not at the end of the world. Uh, so if, uh, mm, if it's really getting close, we can use the blue screen rounds against uh, the uh, gatekeeper. Everything else should be pretty much organic. So we don't really need that. Uh, the sparks on the other side will do their mischievous deed even without uh, blue screen rounds. So let's go to Operation Crypt Valley and deal with some chrysalids. That's gonna be so much fun. Good, we landed. We got 17 enemies. And our prime objective is to use a skull check on one of the core ACs. And with that, we would spawn an avatar. We are concealed, but rest assured that that will not prevent the enemy from spotting us out. We fight against chrysalids, so they can very much sense where we are. They got the tremor sense. Secondly, um, rest assured that there's probably also going to be a chosen somewhere around here we have the high ground we got the super high ground and the ultra high ground up here uh, i don't think that we need all of uh, those though uh, so let's go to this ledge and move our way to the gate that's one and two and dagger takes his position over here Storm moves in and Renven moves over here and finally uh, Roby moves into here. Nice little uh, um, clumped up situation here. And let's see what the chrysalids are going to do. Burrow over here. Okay. Burrow over there. Surprisingly enough, even more borrowing. All right, two more around the gate. Could have used Battle Scanner, but really didn't feel like it. We got Max, so there is a sort of natural counter to Chrysalids. They do have a lot of armor the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network we will need to move in with the skulljack to initiate the process all right so let's first of all move everyone a bit closer already figured out that we don't want to immediately pull them good copy moving on target storm moves over Move here under. Keep a watchful eye. Roger. Scanners in 
Good, and we got all of the overwatch that we need, guys, so... Again, not 100% sure where we are uh, taking shots. We are still in concealment. This is pretty ridiculous. I do not know why that is happening. They haven't spotted us out yet, so... Look, this is still where we are. We have not lost concealment. First, you normally lose concealment before you start completely going apeshit on them. Maybe, just maybe, this isn't displaying it super well and XCOM has another issue. <sighs> it looks like this is grinding to halt. I'll see if this resolves itself, elsewise I need to restart. Let's, um, give me a second, I'll cut that out for the video. Right on schedule. Alright, so what happened is, uh, I needed to reload because uh, the mission just didn't want to proceed. Uh, it forced me to start the mission from the beginning, I just did the same movement as before, uh, more or less, uh, as well as I could. Unfortunately, this time, uh, some of uh, the enemies did not want to move. We moved uh, there um, and started spotting out uh, some of uh, the enemy packs. We have not yet engaged anyone. And for whatever reason, which is uh, as I finished the turn, uh, the hunter just showed up, uh, which is interesting because we haven't lost concealment yet. He can reveal concealed units in incredibly long distance. Immunity to melee makes it hard for us to solo him. We uh, know that he can already uh, summon low profile and uh, kinetic plating makes it an uh, unfortunate event to deal with him anyways. But as soon as you get close to him, he will take more damage and it's easier to hit. Very good. He, of course, spots us out all over the map. Big thank you. And I think I broke the game. There's the even a wrong image down there. Well, we should try to track that before it causes too much trouble. I can most certainly tell you that we are now in a pretty bad position. Alright, the first pack just died right away. Uh, Chrysalid, however, decides to not give a fuck and run into our direction. And... Luckily, some more uh, codices uh, are left over. Hunter triggers, however, and that creates even more of them. Great. Wouldn't say that that was a really good turn, to be honest. And I'm not sure why the aliens can now move yet again. Uh, the hunters spawned at the beginning of their turn. Then a lot of uh, all hell broke loose. And now the alien get another turn. Like, what is going on? Okay, they at least don't get that. Cool. For the briefest of moments, I felt betrayed. Good, we're going to eliminate the Codex here. Perfect, we're going to go into overdrive. Just for reference, we got a school jack here and we very much got a school jack there. Okay, we're Yep, yep, yep. We're going to do that. That's my 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Time for the avatar to spawn. I wouldn't necessarily call it a piece of cake, but it was pretty good. I believe we are seeing something entirely new. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a cautious approach. I'm not sure you I am strongly not advise advising a cautious approach. I advise uh, pretty much head-on kill it and destroy it approach It's time to get rid of the chrysalid Optical system recalibrating. Good so at least that one worked Chrysalid is also down, and now oh, let's see. Holy shit, the Shredstorm Cannon is, is a force to be reckoned with. I'm on my way. Can't say it often enough. Heavy weapons are imbalanced. Good, so that should completely shred him, deal damage, remove like literally everything. Advancing. Moving up here. Okay, did not do the trick yet. Overdriving. Moving up here. Unnecessary. I just was again too stingy. Could have just used the blast uh, um, cannon to get rid of it. He could null lands either of uh, them. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Moving into a, a direction where he cannot null lands. Um, all of them together. Did we just spawn two of them in the same mission? What is going on? So little time. Okay. Is that really going to happen? Two hunters at the same time? Must be effing kidding me. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. Okay, that's going to suck, guys. Mind control, I can live with that. Can't fight it. I'm looking for you. Enjoy these final breaths. All right. Fair enough, we got some technical analysis going on, so he couldn't move. On the flip side, this here should get him in target and very much hit it. There we go. Okay, Vector is moving up. Movement engaged. Okay. 
Good enough to hit. Alright. Um, not good enough, apparently. This, however, should do the trick. There we go. Uh, some nice damage. And that is in level range. We're definitely going to finish the avatar. There we go. Nice little hit. Two points of focus back. And we are parrying. Good. Roby moves up all the way here. Glaive on the other side gets out of the targeting shot. And we finished our first task, which was get rid of the avatar. So that's good. Thumbs up. Very much thumbs down for two chosen. There's nowhere to go. You can't run and you can't hide. Oh, really? We got two tracking shots now? <laughs> uh, okay. They really and 100% uh, spawn to uh, chosen. I would be interested, guys, in the comments down below. It seems that there is something very wrong with that uh, run. Because not only did we start Overwatch uh, firing whilst we were in concealment twice in a row now. I am also pretty certain that in my 6000 hours of XCOM I have quite literally never seen two chosen spawn in the very same map. Specifically, if one of them is a duplic uh, duplicate of the other one. It seems as if something here is pretty much wrong. They do have a mark on us, which tells us that there is a chrysalid hiding here. Elsewise, they wouldn't uh, be able to see us. Grapple is generally a good sign, means they might be not in range. Nope, it does I not mean that. Than you think. The absolute downside of all of this is one of the hunters is already incredibly annoying, let alone two of them. Good. We're continuing to move a bit closer. I'm trusting you here. Moving on target. Everybody else takes this nice little high ground position. I guess that'll be okay. Overwatch, reload. Overwatch, reload, and reload. Good. We're getting our uh, cooldown spec. And I'm still trying to figure out where the uh, where the um, chrysalids might uh, hide. Gotta fight both of them at the same time. That's also not going to be a lot of fun. Okay, good. Um, I would say good for you that you can see us. It means that your eyes are working well. Gonna move and overwatch. A dagger here is just going to move. Roby on the other hand could 
slowly but surely move up. And since we have two overwatches plus all of uh, the potential all of the potential hunter abilities going on, we might continue to get a bit closer. Storm continues to go with our mech all the way to the front line. Overwatch, Overwatch. The reason why I keep a couple of Overwatches is in case one of the borrowed um, chrysalids just jumps out, we're going to have at least two or three shots. Should be enough to kill it. We're moving our way closer. It's incredibly annoying that they continue to see us. Moving in. Movement request confirmed. Okay, I'll go. Renwin moves in as well. We can utilize the high ground a bit better soon. For now, let's just take the overwatches here. Three are good. Uh, and we're using Glaive to hopefully spot out uh, the chrysalids didn't happen I'll keep it under for Enemy activity okay more chrysalids ahead that's fine Well, in that case, not particularly a chrysalid, but a codex. And it seems that another codex or another advent is down there. Good. Well, moving over here. Dagger moves over here. I guess that'll be okay. So we got an overwatch, we got another overwatch, and we're just dealing with overwatch utilization at this point. Moving closer, storm. Moves over as well, Roby takes the high ground over here. Got a nice little fire position up here, whatever was not moving up to us we'll have to deal with a lot of overwatch shots well that's tragic Okay, we're still getting tracking shot, Ted. I'm wondering if there is still something strange going on. I mean, normally they can only see via the chrysalids that are borrowed, but I get the sense at this point that the chrysalids here are actually, there are no chrysalids. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, I was wrong. Well, there we go. So much for the chrysalids. Proceeding to target. Moving up a bit closer. 
I was about to say before the game, of course, uh, mm, was correcting me. I almost am of the impression that we're con considered by the game to be hidden, as in concealed. And since uh, the, since coincidentally enough, uh, the. Uh, mm, the hunter has the ability to see hidden units from afar. It uh, appears to me that one explanation why they continuously see us would be that one of them uh, can see us as quote unquote invisible units and the other one just continues to um, see us and, and use his, um, use his, what's it called, tracking shot all over the map and once that has happened the other one can do it as well so that they essentially give one another sight or across the entire map might be wrong with that but it is just so convenient for them good we got one and two. The other monsters come from below. Well, there we go. That's another chrysalid. Let's carefully continue. Um, we're moving all the way up to here. So Overwatch, a Roby goes into Overwatch as well. The whole idea of uh, the setup to begin with was to have more overwatch shots before going closer, I suppose. Uh, that was a short-sighted uh, idea of me to just take the ledge. Could have done that better. Good. For once, others are being targeted. Thought you could hide, eh? All right, we're moving over here moving as and over here. That's an overwatch and an overwatch and Roby could move up to here for another overwatch. And we are going to trigger a chrysalid, most likely. This time I am applying the strategy correctly. Good, uh, so let us um, move a bit closer. It's only chrysalid, so we can't stand in the open. No point in looking for cover if none is needed. Good. So just out of curiosity, we can repair ourselves. And that's an overwatch. 
Reload Overwatch. Renvin, reload, overwatch. So that's three overwatches, which should be plenty. Glaive moves over here. That's not triggering, or that should not trigger the gatekeeper, nor anyone else uh, with, in that regard. My watch begins. Overwatch protocol engaged. Reload. Why did we just give him an effing plasma rifle? That man should have a really good rifle. Thought you could hide, eh? Not far enough. All right, gotta be careful. We really don't want to trigger too much. So, moving up. Although that means that we're not no longer taking the high ground okay i'll go single moves okay, and let's overwatch here and here so that's two overwatches Moving over, hopefully triggering a chrysalid. I'm not sure what we were expecting. Well, that's okay for me as well as this. As long as we fight it without fighting the hunters, that's good. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Good, at least one hit. At least one hit. And are we stuck in the permanent slow-mo again? It seems that we're still making progress here. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know what's going on, guys. If, uh, it must be something with the Overwatch of the sparks and now we're grinding to a halt again <sighs> I can deal with uh, whatever bullshit the game is run uh, is throwing at me but if the game is having severe bugs and I'm I'm really not sure why that is I would think that he might take another shot because of uh, Hunter and that something is just slowing down but boy oh boy that is unfortunate let me try to fix it alright second try I kind of removed uh, as much as I can so let's see where this is going one hit one miss i was trying to this time not put too many mechs in the way apparently we effed it up again <sighs> that is frustrating i i've looked online and i couldn't find a really good explanation for that it's probably the hunter that is trying to trigger together with the with the normal overwatch maybe i should just not overwatch okay yet another attempt let me redo the whole situation again things, all right third attempt is hopefully the charm i think that i have an explanation and maybe even a fix of why this here is happening good so it seems to be working now better than before and here's how i fixed it uh, there is a single mod called uh, less overwatch lockups it is a steam mod for wolf the chosen i uh, recommend uh, you to get it so the whole idea of why that is happening i read a little bit into the subject is whenever overwatch is happening um, 
there's the so-called uh, Overwatch um, uh, priority a uh, prior uh, prioritizer in the background it is basically a script of worth uh, the chosen or XCOM in, uh, in general that is calculating all of uh, the overwatch shots whenever however uh, there are multiple overwatch triggers such as uh, uh, threat assessment or in this case the hunter ability what is happening is that both of uh, them are triggering at the same time, trying to override uh, one another, then there is a wait time programmed into it, and without going too deep into detail, the 60 second wait time that the developers have programmed into it just doesn't work apparently. So they fixed it, good shit, and we are back in the game. Let's overdrive. And more down the eyeball. That's one and two. And no, do we want to blast the bomb? I mean, this here would be convenient, wouldn't it? Might as well do that, to be honest. It's chosen uh, is the double chosen requiring us to do a blaster bomb. I think they were immune to melee, not to explosions. So let's stick with it for now. We'll get back to it in a second. So, how about immediate lightning hand shot? Yes, that worked out well. And how about amplify? On uh, this guy. Oh, it works well also. And how about then just going with the flow this year unfortunately would hit our mech and this year would be fine there we go that's oh, a good start getting back our focus Might as well just overdrive. I don't see any harm in it. Got another blaster bomb, by the way. Before we do that, uh, let's try to finish at the eye. Perfect. I hope you're not expecting me to go down that easy. Inspiring Enjoy. just to give him another action. And before we do something, Glaive is just moving a tiny bit back. There we go. And this year. I will tear you apart. Should actually kill both of them. If not. Oh, interesting. No blast wave. That's fine. Um, if not, uh, the blade storm will kill. Good. Chrysalid's done. Point taken.
All right, so we're being targeted again. Moving up without triggering too much and uh, let's just say we're done with this pathetic charade here. Yep, both of them very much hit. I love it. to go too deep uh, it's not a good idea so instead moving over moving on target. and let us move storm over here into full cover Overwatch. Overwatch. Um, uh, we can reload for now. And another Overwatch. Overwatch. Alright, he has set himself on fire for whatever reason. Moving up, this is hopefully going to at least get one of them in line of sight. This is probably not going to remove the gate, but we might as well try. It would be nice. I think it's indestructible terrain. On the other uh, side, the ball really destroys a lot of terrain. Not so much uh, the indestructible one here. Let's see, so we certainly could move all the way up to here. Let's do that. We're looking at what, 50-50? Okay, that's not good enough for me. It's not going to cut it. We want better chances and the better chances are high ground. Even if there is another chrysalid here, I have no issue. Okay, cool. So, moving up. We are going to go into an overwatch. Just out of curiosity. Uh, that's a pretty long, that's a pretty long range, but just not long enough. We are going to use teamwork in order to move him into position for cover. And from here, no we can hit him very well, even with all of his cover. Psionic effects just don't care for your cover. He's taking a nice beating, love it. Just 
just out of curiosity, might as well position ourselves up here. And let's move a bit closer. Did he just put himself on fire as well? Unfortunately, a miss. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> oh, what? Wait. Uh, we should be immune to that. For a second, I was like, what is happening? Is the Templar not immune anymore? No, he's very much immune. And what we're going to do is we're using our focus to amplify. There you go. That's, that's more like it. Let's remove all of the cover. Well, sucks being you now, buddy, because now you're going to get really 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 massacred I will comply. yep amplified damage good day sir I said good day sir and he just died on the spot leaving us with one hunter you might be the first to ever take me down more than once commander don't get cocky i'll be back to finish this later i'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that chosen commander i doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again though Good, we're reloading. Moving up. Overwatch, Overwatch. And see, now this guy can no longer tracking shot. Because guess what? If both of them can scout for one another, that's a little bit imbalanced. Yeah, please come up here. Well, that's a fantastic idea. Bring it on, one after the other. Yep, 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 that is good. Come a little bit closer. Our Templar has been waiting for that opportunity. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Bladestorm is absolutely fantastic on a Templar. Lightning hands. And you know what? Let's just kill the chrysalid. Templar 1, Chrysalids 0. Moving over. Dega takes his position here. Renman takes the position over here. And we're overwatching, overwatching. Reload overwatch. Overwatch. And coincidentally, he decides to move in. We're 
we're starting to shred him. We're starting to shred him just a tiny bit more. And that's some fantastic damage. Okay, he wants to give us even some more loot. Whenever he summons enemies, those will carry an additional bit of loot. Really? <laughs> he got parried. Let's add uh, insult sure to injury. Alright, overdrive. Wow. That's going to suck. For him, not for us. All right, we're pretty close to him. Uh, that means this year is going to hurt him a lot. Amplifying. On top of it, uh, we are going to deal some damage to the stun lancers. Very nice. Very nice, good. So that's what the Templar could do. Cool. Great. And now let's start with what I wanted to do initially, which was stealing damage to the Hunter. 15 to 19. Control variable in targeting sequence. All right, a bit kinetic plating. I get it. The sport in hunting with a machine? There we go, that's what we wanted to see. 19 points of damage. And let's give it another 15. It's almost down. That's another 15 points. Okay, we're going to just finish this poor guy. <laughs> okay, he got he got the short end of the stick very very much this time twice to be co uh, correct i'm beginning to understand why the elders find you so interesting commander this is a fantastic run i'm just enjoying myself we showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay commander now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good all right so uh we can sword fire either of these guys moving, moving over here that's a kill and unfortunately not really good loot but it is at least something going to inspire and we're going to kill the last guy in true fashion of that run with some psionic imbalance moving up moving close and it's time for some slashing there we go it's pretty much it right status confirmed figured contacts in the AO have been eliminated the gateway is secure status confirmed Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway and recovery teams are in route to Okay, the what a mission. What a mission. The heroes return. 
Only got a little bit of a wound here on Vector, but that should soon disappear. And we got a bond level up. Oh, that's fantastic. Avatar Corpse. Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander. New objective added. Good. Now we are rushing towards uh, the final lines. Training center. Uh, can't upgrade the bond yet. I suppose one of them is either tired or not ready. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, psyoperative training. Yeah, probably that. That's a great explanation. So not sure if they are ever ready because, well, Roby is not in training officially anymore. It's just the buck here, for a second there, Tygen had my hopes which I'm pretty sure there is a fix for that with the right mod as well. I'm not the most experienced modder of the game. The creature your troops encountered was clearly of some importance to the aliens, Commander. I will leave it to your team to reveal its true significance. Good. So that looked Avenger like a pretty forward. awesome mission. We're done with our storyline missions. There's only essentially one left, the network tower. But we basically have all of the ingredients. And before we're continuing, there is another scientist and 90 intel. The game just feels like giving us more to do. I think we're, by the way, ready. We have the second gatekeeper shell, so might as well try it for the first time, uh, for the third time now, to build uh, the upgrade, advanced psi amp. And there we go, alien psi amp. There we go. Good. We don't need either um, of these items. No. I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the elders are dying off. If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread. Very good. Okay, so that uh, is probably bringing us to the council mission, which we can do next. And after the council mission, let's just plan the rest here. We got the stronghold and we still got a few more days on the alien chambers. I think the stronghold is still level two and not level three in the covert acts, um, ops missions. Yes. So depending on how long the third uh, lasts, I think it's another 14 days, if I'm not mistaken, or 10 days. We might want to do that and even kill the warlock. I like the weapon. I like the idea of only fighting against one of the chosen uh, we're going to leave him uh, for the last mission makes it a bit more interesting so that's one arc i sincerely hope that we're going to find um, one of the two remaining specimen we have beaten both quite badly but we've never seen them on the missions so uh, one option now could be this council mission because uh, they have a tendency to appear after a certain cooldown uh, period. And this here is a mission with only 16 enemies. Yeah, it's room theoretically for an additional, uh, an additional enemy, but could have also been the Warlock, so I wouldn't count on it. Gatekeeper. Uh, Gatekeeper certainly... A gatekeeper in Sectopod is uh, the strongest enemy, certainly aren't uh, preventative of an alien specimen. Uh, the alien rulers can still appear on those missions. So if I would, ha uh, would have it my way for a really nice finish of this campaign, we're probably going to see, uh, or I'm hoping we're seeing at least one of the alien specimens so that we can kill that, get an extra suit of armor. Then I would like to sh uh, kill the Warlock so that we got the Warlock rifle besides our other rifle that we've upgraded. And that's pretty much it. I think everything else is good to go. We got the right um, soldiers. We just need to train them well. And in terms of, in terms of remaining points, uh, we got 10 additional ones from... 
the two Chosens um, that we've just killed in one mission. Uh, with a few more AP, we might be able to give uh, Magister here one or uh, two more uh, skills, and then that's really what we need. Everything else is nice to have, but not necessary. Good, that brings us to the end of this mission, exactly one hour in the video. Thanks a lot for um, spending the time with me. If you enjoyed the content, leave a, a comment and a like down below and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.